Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria. Please subscribe below so we can be YouTube buddies. This is my December energy update. I love doing these. Thank you for loving them as well. We will keep doing them. The month of December is, wow, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be challenging in a good way. Um, it's going to be cleansing for your mental body. And it's going to crack you open. There's a lot to dissect in the month of December. For the first time ever, and I've been doing this, I think, since March or April of this year, uh, what I'm being shown as I'm looking into the energy of the collective is the stone, the energy of the stone. And then water kind of like gently, um, kind of like enveloping the stone. Um, and what that means, and this is a euphemism for cracking our hearts open, the month of December is going to be a heart healing month, whether we'd like this or not. And based on this image of the stone, um, what I'm getting is that the universe perceives that the hearts of humanity are hardened. We have hardened ourselves to the hardship of others. We have hardened our hearts to the pain and suffering. We have taught our hearts to not feel the intensity of emotion that they could be feeling. And because of that, our hearts are proverbial stones. They've turned into stones. And so the month of December is actually a massive, massive revamp of the heart energies. And it is going to happen through the healing of the emotional sphere. In the month of um, December, you will notice certain emotions really come and sweep you over. And you cannot do anything about it. Like you are going to be a slave to your emotions in the month of December. But do not worry. This does not mean that this does not serve you. Just be prepared, especially at the beginning of the month of December. Certain things may happen that may cause you to feel a spike of emotion. Just really get emotional out of nowhere. And you may feel like you're not able to process the amount of emotion that is coming through for you. The reason that is happening is so that you can finally learn to absorb this much frequency, emotional frequency into your emotional body through your heart. Your heart is a gateway. That is what opens up your emotional body. Your emotional body can withstand massive amounts of emotion, ma massive amounts of information, massive amounts of frequency. However, we're not enabling our heart spaces, our emotional bodies, to be open enough and ready to receive the entirety of the emotional spectrum. We are guardians and guards of, of our inner sanctum, if you will, of emotions, which is why a lot of negative emotions get stuck in our emotional bodies and produce trauma on all levels of our existence. So the month of December is going to be the month where you cannot ignore your emotions anymore. They're going to come and take you over. And the only way out is through. And what I mean by that is in the month of December, you are going to be invited to crack your hearts open, to find that little opening in the stone of your heart and crack that door open, open that door, tear apart whatever impediments are between the emotions, the frequency that is coming through on your vessel and allow yourself to receive and understand that when you receive a massive amount of emotional frequency, you're able to process it. And when you process things, they move in and out of your system very seamlessly. And that is what healing looks like. You are supposed to be a part of this ecosystem. You're support, supposed to be an active participant as opposed to somebody who is on guard all the time. In fact, it takes a lot of your personal resource to just be able to maintain all of the protective systems around your heart. And so allow in the month of December, allow the energies of the water to really cleanse you and heal you and look at the emotional ups and downs, the emotional roller coaster as your friend as opposed to your foe. Look at it as your teacher. What could be helpful to you is imagining that your heart is a chalice and you are inviting the emotional frequency in instead of repelling repelling always is a lot more energy intensive than receiving receiving is the absence of struggle it's the absence of pressure receiving actually is a very natural it's very seamless and it is a path of least resistance paths of least resistance 
are very optimal energetically. So when you're receiving an emotion instead of repelling the emotion, you are not swimming upstream. You're not walking uphill, right? So you are essentially joined with the flow. So that is one aspect of this month, but that is not all. We also have the energy of raging air in the month of December. Really interesting, very frigid, cold air. We haven't seen this energy this year. Um, and this energy is actually really interesting because air has everything to do with your mental space. It's your intellect and your mental body. So your thoughts, your belief systems, everything you know to be true. And the reason that this air is frigid and chilly and cooling is because it is cleansing air. And it is here to help you transcend certain negative thinking patterns, certain negative beliefs. So invite this air to enter your mental space and do the cleansing that it needs to do. And again, in a meditative state, the way that you would imagine that happening is you'd close your eyes and you would imagine frigid cold air entering one of your ears. And that because like ears are your entry points into the mental as well as the mouth. But like, you know, ears are arguably um, easier to work with. And so you want to imagine those frigid air entering through your ears and getting into your mental space and then allow that air to wreak havoc on your mental space. And I mean it. Um, I mean it in the best way possible because that air is going to remove any of the old structures that no longer need to be there. As you are upgrading, as you are moving up your evolutionary path, Certain thoughts just don't serve you anymore and it's time to let them go. And the month of December is going to be exactly that, clearing away the mental. Another thing that may be helpful for you is because it's frigid air, it's actually, you know, winter air, if you will. Um, In the Northern Hemisphere, it is winter time, so perfect timing. What you want to imagine is um, literally if anything in your mental field looks dark or black, it needs to be removed. And you want to imagine that air encapsulating this darkness, this blackness in ice and then just collapsing it, right? Like ice is actually very, very easy to collapse. By collapsing it, I mean separating into it in, into tiny particles of dust almost um, and just allowing them to disappear. And that is how you can do the cleansing of your mental body. Um, let's look at the blessings and the curses of the month of December. I really like um, that perspective. Um, December is a very fast-paced month. That is a blessing. The good news is if you're stuck on an emotional roller coaster or you're struggling with something in, in your mental arena, these two shall pass. That is the energy of December. It's very fast-paced. It's very fast-moving. It's like sometimes there are three things on the agenda for the month of December. You know, bear with it. It's not a very slow month. It's it's not about withdrawing and being in. It's actually a, about being in the world. In the month of December, you may, um, whether you'd like it or not, you're going to have to be in society. You're going to have to be with people around people. Obviously, there's family because they're like in, at least in the US, um, you know, there, there's, well, I, I shouldn't be saying that. Everywhere people are gathering um, for, you know, holiday one way or another in the month of December, right? So that is the good news, right? But you are you may be challenged, right? You may be challenged, but again, understand that any trigger in the month of December, anybody who's triggering you, any situation that is triggering to you is serving you higher good in the month of December because it's the cleanse of the water and the cleanse of the air, two elements, right? Are working on, on the cleanse and the cracking you open. Um, so... Being in society is really good, right? So be out there. Allow yourself to have as many experiences as possible because a lot of them are going to be big learning experiences for you. Uh, December is also really good for completion. This month of December is really good for completion. If you wanted to complete a project or if you wanted to launch something, this is a really, really good month. The energies are naturally coming together for the close. And that doesn't always happen in December, by the way. Not every December brings closure. But this particular December brings closure. It's been a really, really good year. Energetically, we have transcended a lot as humanity. And so it's nice to be able to launch projects. And it's actually nice to be able to clean your slate. And that is what I would invite you to do in the month of December. If you have projects, like a list of projects that you have been working on, re-examine that list. Does that list still serve you? Or your commitments, maybe not projects, but commitments. And if there are any commitments that you have on that list or things that you thought you wanted to do, but you never really gotten around to it, 
take a look and make sure that you really still stand for those commitments and you really want to still make them happen because they are unbeknownst to you sucking away your energy and you don't even know it. Every commitment that you have not gotten around to is sucking away your energy. And so the month of December is an invitation to liberate yourself, an invitation to let go of those commitments that, you know, you've set for yourself and never really uh, fulfilled. And that is okay to let go. It is not a sign of failure. It is a sign of growing up. Sometimes when you grow up, you grow out of things and it is okay and actually um, really good for you in the month of December to be able to let go of certain things. And that is going to help you close that loop come into full completion in the month of December, like nobody's business. Um, other blessings of the month of December, it's um, actually a really, really good heart month as well. Just not just about cracking your hearts open, but there are a lot of warm fuzzies. Like December is like a lot of warm fuzzies. Uh, maybe that is connected to the energy of like the holidays and people gifting gifts and like families getting together. But there are a lot of warm fuzzies in December. And it's like the energies that are really, really fully healing for your body. It's like something is going to enter through your heart space that's going to really upgrade and elevate and heal your entire body. And that is via a positive frequency, like a positive feeling that you have. So good family times uh, this December. What else on the blessings? Um, a lot of generosity, actually, in the, in the month of December. So a lot of expect to have e either really nice gifts this year. Because like I can totally sense this human energy of generosity coming through. I That's rare, you guys. Like let's acknowledge, let's call things as they are. This is rare. Uh, humanity being generous with one another is really rare. And like this beautiful energy is really coming through. You know how sometimes you get gifts and they're like, eh, not really what I wanted. Some of the gifts that you're going to get for this, um, you know, holiday season, you're going to be like, wow, this is, uh, th this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, universe and, you know, my loved one. Um, so a lot of that. So the energy of generosity, but it's not just the energy of generosity coming through for humans, not like in, just in the physical sense or like, you know, tipping people, but it's um, emotional generosity as well, right? So like people's hearts are becoming open to one another as we're going through the cracking exercise. Um, and so you may find yourself, you know, in, in, in the very heartfelt moment or space uh, towards the end of the month, actually, where it's going to feel like, okay, finally, I'm, uh, I feel like I belong right? So um, the good news about December is it's an antidote to loneliness. A lot of people are going to start feeling less alone. The curses of December um, are the frigid temperatures of the air that is moving through. Um, sometimes it will feel like um, you are really maybe faced with the fact that some of your thoughts are so bad, like your thoughts may be taking over, not just your feelings, um, like a negative thought that is just nagging at you or just wouldn't leave you alone. And you may feel a little bit of the struggle of dealing with, with the mental. That is the curse of the month of December. The month of December is not really all of that terrific for studying, starting new things. Maybe at the beginning of the month until the 5th of December, it's okay. But afterwards, I wouldn't start any large projects. I wouldn't sign any big contracts if you can avoid it. Because as we're going through the mental cleanse, the, the month of December may be prone to errors, errors in numbers. Um, just like very uh, like silly miscalculations, like human error is going to be really, really high in the month of December. And another thing actually that is not really good in the month of December is there is a little bit of that. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm getting the orphan energy, which is really the, um, the opposite of what I just said, right? Like I said that this is going to be a month where a lot of people are going to feel less lonely. But there are some people, uh, it's like a smaller segment of, of, of humanity that's going to feel very alone. And um, please know that if that is you, it is because you haven't found your tribe. And it is because your family, your true family is not your biological family. And what I mean by that is this. If you find yourself lonely in the month of December, it is because you are being invited to step in and play a, a high stakes game. You're being invited more in your spiritual path. You are being invited to seek out individuals that are on the same wavelength as you are, who are on the same path as you are. And so what you would want to challenge yourself with is be out there in the month of December if you're feeling like the odd one out and really get out and meet new people. Reach out, DM people on social if if 
you know, invite people out for coffee or whatever, for tea <laughs> and make new connections, right? Because for a lot of you, your tribe wants to come in in a big way into your life, your spiritual tribe, the people who are close to you at soul level, and you just have to let them. And sometimes in order to be seen by the tribe, by your tribe, by your people, you have to make that first step. You have to be seen. Um, you have to be heard. And sometimes that means reaching out to people and being the the first one to raise a hand and being like, hey, I like you. I think we um, we could be friends, right? So um, if, you, if you feel like that little orphan, please know that this is an invitation for you. If the reason you're feeling this much discomfort is because you're not meant to be in it. You're meant to transcend it. And that those are the main energies for the month of December. And it's also a transitionary month. We're transitioning from 2023 into 2024. Uh, massively different years. Um, a very, very different frequency um, is going to hit us next year. And towards the end of the month, you're also being invited to, like, and that's probably the last three days of the month, you're being invited to slightly withdraw and allow some time for introspection. And it would be good for you to do journaling. It would be good for you to do journaling and look back at the year 2023 um, at all of the things that have happened. And I invite you to do the, the yearly gratitude essay and list all the things that you are grateful to 2023 for. All of the things that it brought you, all of the things that it taught you, all of the things that it removed away from your life, all of the things that it cleansed. It could be such a beautiful exercise. I know a lot of people are... They love setting um, New Year's resolutions, but I also love New Year's gratitude. And I invite you in the last three days of December to dive into that gratitude. And you will realize just how much year 2023 has taught you, just how blessed you have been. And that is a really beautiful energy to start the new year with. I hope this was helpful. Please drop me uh, some comments down below. If you have any questions or you just have comments or if you've been feeling these energies, I'm sending you a big virtual hug. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves.